Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, React transition groups. So you can uh, animate components that are mounted or unmounted. So just to give you an example of what I have here right now, say if I go to CSS, it just says something. So when I go to HTML, uh, it is essentially showing an unordered list and the code for that is pretty straightforward. So you can see it is just rendering this. Let's say we, have, we wanted to animate this uh, in place. So what we can do is we can use obviously the CSS animation with uh, a component called uh, transition from React transition group. So let me just show you the CSS I've already prepared. It's pretty straightforward. So what we are doing is uh, we will put everything under a div doc box uh, or a class name box and the position would be relative. And when uh, I've also enter, uh, created a class name called box uh, dash entered and box dash entering and this is because when we work with the transition component it uh, will uh, when you are entering that component or mounting that component it will go uh, from state entering to entered so we can basically change the CSS class when that happens so as you can see what I'm doing here is when I'm in the entering state I'm going to run an animation called example and the animation duration is going to be four seconds and to do that animation is pretty straightforward I have uh, some several keyframes going from 0% to 100% and they are all pretty uh, similar so the first one is saying we show it in red uh, at the point 0 and 0 left to right 0 and 0 and then 200 to 0 and then 200 to 200 and so on so essentially what you can see here is I have two class names box entering where the animation happens and box entered where nothing happens we have basically reached the final state so to do that you can install obviously react transition group and uh, you can take a look at the documentation here and one of the main things uh, when you do this transition component is uh, you specify some attributes called in which basically says when uh, I'm mounting that component I want to do uh, show it or not show it and uh, typically we would have it have some value in here that uh, we can show this happens and the timeout is the duration for which this animation would occur and uh, what this component does is it prepares a function for you uh, where uh, it passes an argument called state and the state uh, essentially is a text which is going from entering entered on the mounting and on, on mounting it will do exiting and exit it. So let's see this in action. So I've already prepared some uh, uh, component change here. So let me uh, copy this to my JSX. And as you can see this works and basically what I've done here is uh, let me format the document for a second. So as you can see, my list is uh, still the same, but what I've done is in unordered list, I'm applying a class name box, which is the main class. And uh, it also is applying an another class to it called box dash and the value of the status. And whatever the value of the status is, will be applied, uh, uh, applied uh, when the status changes. And status is basically coming as an argument. As I've suggested, initially the status would be entering on mount and then when the component is done with animation, it would become uh, exited or oh, entered, sorry. And the timeout is 4000 uh, milliseconds. In is true, I'm always going to show the component when it happens. And typically when the transition uh, component runs, uh, if you want to show your inside component, you want to set an attribute called appear as well. So with all that, let's see what it does. Uh, with all that, uh, to show the animation, I can just uh, skip to CSS and uh, I can go to HTML. So here you can see the animation is occurring. And when the final animation is over, it is here. So we can inspect uh, what the state of this is. So you can see that is basically applied the box uh, entered state to this. Uh, and just to watch again, you can see it uh, go through the animation phases and come and exit it. So it's actually a pretty uh, good uh, way to uh, do in a systematic way the transitions. And you can uh, take a look at some of the examples that are already provided. Uh, but the main one to think about is essentially just this where 
uh, you get a status argument and based on that you can uh, change the class name for CSS and that's how you see, uh, see the uh, animation. So thank you for watching this short screencast. I will add this into uh, React Transition Group uh, animation on my website and you have a great day.